Yo guys, what's up? Jimmy G here. Um, Give me guys another icon review. First off, sorry that my hair is a little messed up. It, um, I just woke up, drinking my coffee right now. Just had some breakfast, so I'm just still trying to figure things out. Um, but I am doing a review today on 86 Nedved and 87 Socrates. This was my team for weekend league. I played about 42 games this time with Nedved, Socrates, and and Griezmann. I also tried Griezmann for the first time. I also tried um, Ravioli, Ragmanoli, um, whatever his name is, for the first time. And I also tried Ariola for the first time. Um, so a lot of new players on my team. One of you guys asked um, in the comments, what do I get? Um, I actually clutched up this weekend. This weekend I started off 12-8, and eight, and then I ended up getting um, gold one. So here it is. I went 20 and 10 exactly. I was doing terrible, but my last 10 games, I went 8 and 2. Just wanted to start that off, let you guys know. So rewards will be coming out um, this uh, this Thursday. This Yeah, this Thursday, rewards video. Um, really quick, guys. I just wanted to point out that um, Ariola sucks. So if you guys have um, coins, definitely pick up Ter Stegen. Um, just wanted to point that out really quick. Also, really quick. Um, Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you for the the support. Uh, my team of the week video bang uh, predictions video. So if you guys want to check that out, I got one coming out later on today. And um, this the the review on Kaka as well as Nesta Bank as well. If you guys notice on uh, if you guys watch that video, I told you guys Nesta really isn't isn't the fit. For me personally, I ended up picking him because out of all the first nine that I wanted to grab or the first few icons, it was either him or Roberto Carlos. I didn't have enough for the icon swaps, so I ended up picking Nesta. He still gets beat. I still got beat on the counterattacks quite a bit um, with Nesta, but it wasn't that bad. Um, Langlet, he's untradeable, just packed him. And Ra Ravioli, man, I actually played him at CDM quite a bit this weekend league, and he wasn't bad. Um, his his agility is pretty trash, but he 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 wasn't bad. He he, he honestly wasn't bad. Um, so yeah, I I definitely give him a shout if you guys haven't. At least you strongly hit him with with Donnarumma. Just want to give that shout. I'm probably gonna continue to play with him. Maybe maybe not. I don't know yet. I'm probably gonna switch up my team really quick for the next weekend league. Next up, guys, um, Griezmann, really quick. Um, just want to give a few shouts to these guys. Is he worth um, 280,000 coins? No. His three-star weak foot is 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 terrible, man. He missed so many shots with his right foot. It's unbelievable. You need a five-star, five-star, or at least five-star weak foot as a striker because this guy's unbelievable. You can't. Um, but he did have a decent amount of games, 42 goals or 42 games, 26 goals, 25 assists. He was able to score the ball as well, pass the ball. He just, he was, he should have been able to score more, but his right foot was nowhere to be seen. Skill moves was all right. Um, I did end up throwing a hunter on him because I wanted to boost his pace as well as his, uh, shot power. Shot power seemed pretty weak. Everything else was pretty good. Pretty fine. All right. Now Nedved or Socrates. So me comparing Nedved, I'm comparing him to really Douglas Costa because that's who I had as a left wing. And I'm comparing Socrates to Kaká. And I'm also comparing him to who did I have previously? Um, uh, Fermino. That's what I'm comparing him to. Um, let's go ahead and start off with Nedved. Nedved is phenomenal. He's insane. He has really good pace. Um, 90 pace. It was not the best, but it's pretty good. Um, he had. Uh, I threw. I ended up throwing a, what is, what is this called? A Deadeye? I'm boosting his um, shooting as well as his dribbling. Oh, no, a marksman. I threw a marksman too because I wanted to boost his strength and his jumping and all that fun stuff. This card is amazing. This card also had, um, four, he played 42 games, um, 23 goals, uh, 15 assists. Um, I played him as a striker in a 4 1 2 1 2, left, uh, left center attacking mid in a 4 2 3 1. Um, and then obviously a left wing. This card was really, really good. I got, I got some video for you guys to show how well he is. Um, his shot power, he bangs. He has the finesse shots. Um, so right foot of finesse shots. He was able to score with both feet. It didn't matter. The five-star weak foot. Um, the only thing about him is that he had some odd touches. Um, and, I, and I don't know why. I have to look into it more. But his touches were a little weird. Like I wouldn't, I would just like left, I would, I would change pace, right? So I would hold right trigger, stop. Use my left trigger and he would do some moves and then he'd go. I don't know if it's like some type of flair that he has or, or some type of trait that he has that I'm not understanding just quite yet. 
but uh, overall, man, th this card was very, very good. He had the shot power that he had. I definitely think the marksman was probably one of the better cards to give him because it, it boosts his attacking position as well as his finishing to an 80, it was an 86 attacking position. Uh, Tagging position, 91 finishing, 93, 91 shot power, 94 long shots. Um, everything everything about this card was phenomenal. Honestly, I'm really, really, really thinking about keeping him. Um, potentially, but I also want to sell him. I did overpay for him, 665,000 coins. Definitely think I overpaid for him. He might continue to go up. We'll see. There's no more cards or any of that this upcoming week. Um, I, I don't think so, at least. So... He may go up, hopefully, but if he doesn't, if you see his price right now, right around 665, pick him up around probably 620, I would say, 625, because he, he did go for that last Monday. I'm um, actually let a bid go at 620, which I'm shooting myself in the foot for. So definitely check this card out. Next up, Socrates. I played 42 games with him, 29 goals, um, 18 assists. This card was phenomenal. Um, I, he, was, he was really, really great. Um, I, I played with him a, an engine card as well as um, a hunter. Now, I'll talk about both really quick. He's 6'4". He wins those headers. His work rates weren't the best, though. I, I did notice that quite a bit, medium low. He could score with either foot, though, left foot, right foot, where you ball roll to one side or the other. He was he was, he was was hitting those, you know. And skill moves were really, really good. I actually, I, I actually have some pretty good um, dribbling clips with Socrates to show you how well he is. Uh, medium low. So comparing him to Kaká, um, one of the things you really, really notice is um, is his strength. Kaká's strength really wasn't there, but Kaká definitely had agility and balance. Um, and I think the biggest thing is is the strength because when Kaká got tackled, he got tackled. You know what I'm saying? But when Socrates got tackled, he would hold. You know, he he would hold it down and he would keep on going. Um, so I definitely think his strength, his stamina. Um, and his aggression were, were really, really great, and his heading accuracy. What's interesting about this card, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, hold on, we'll, we'll, co we'll continue on, and I'll tell you guys here in a bit. So pace, his pace wasn't the best. It was 81 um, and 80. I did throw an engine on him to boost his agility, balance, his dribbling, and his passing, and his acceleration, his pace, but his it really didn't make a difference. What, what made a difference was was the hunter. Um, just because I also wanted to boost that attacking position and finishing and shot power. Because why not? And volleys. Uh, max out his volleys and pens. So I ended up to really, really get the pace. Because one thing I noticed is that his passing and dribbling were, were fine. I know his balance says 56, but he's really not falling as much. His stats are a little weird because I know players that have a 56 balance are, are they drop a lot. So one of them could be like Ben Yatter. The other one could be like a bombing. Their, their balances are really low. And so when you tackle them, they just flop. Well, he, when he got tackled, he wouldn't flop. Um, but his strength, um, his strength, like I said, held it down. Um, but he had decent pace with the hunter. Um, shooting was phenomenal. Passing was phenomenal. He made those passes that, that you wanted, the through balls, the short passes, the long passes. He was always there. Um, and then dribbling. Dribbling was really, really great. Aside from his agility and balance, he was actually pretty agile, which which is weird. I, I don't know about this card. This card is weird um, because I think his dribbling and his physical stats don't really represent this card very well. The pace does. So the pace, pace does. Um, but yeah, this card was great. I, I def I'm definitely thinking about picking up... Um, is the 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 mid the mid icon um i don't know what rating that is but i think if it has a little bit more pace definitely recommend it um hopefully um but but th that's it guys um what did i pay for this card i paid 826 so i actually got a decent deal on him i'm, I'm still shooting myself in the foot i could have got him for 800k um, but i did have to spend an extra 26 coin um 826 depending on where his price is today this would be a decent price still um but I don't, um, I still don't know. Um, sorry for my dog in the background. My dog is, is chewing on some shiznes. So yeah, um, re really, really, really good card. He just needs a little bit more pace. The, the odd thing though about this card as well is that his agility, I felt like he had pretty good agility um, and really good strength. But the other thing is I felt like his stamina was very, very, very poor. This dude had 85 stamina. And comparing him to Dembele, who has 69 stamina, Socrates would run out of stamina f way before Dembele would. Um, I don't know if it's because he's running back and forth in the center mid, um, even the 4 one 2 one 2 or the um, 4 2 3 one I just felt like Dembele's stamina was far better 
than Socrates. That was the only issue that I had. And and I play balance balance um, for most of the majority of my positions. Um, and like and Socrates would just like by the end of the game, he would he would be the one with the least amount of stamina left. So that was very, very interesting, which which I which I didn't like. But let's go ahead and get into the clips um, that I got set up for you guys. I think these clips are going to be it is going to really tell the story a little bit more of what I'm talking about. All right. So here's some clips. Um, I'm going to start off with Socrates um, and then I'm going to go into Nedved or I might be flipped around. Let's see what I have first. But I'm pretty sure I start with Socrates and go into Nedved. Um, also, what was really dope is that I was playing with um, Nedved and Socrates, and they were um, they were doing well together as well. They were really, really a great partnership. Just Socrates, medium, low, and pace and stamina is what really, really kind of his work rates, stamina, and pace is what really kind of killed him. But but let, let let's carry on. So there's there's Langlet. Um, this is what is really good for Nedved. I, his pace says ninety, um, but his pace was actually very, very good, and he was able to stop on a dime. And then Socrates with the with the left foot, he was able to shoot left foot, right foot. It was just kind of it was a rebound goal, but I want to just show the pace with Nedved here. Here's Griezmann. Griezmann was really good. I really liked his dribbling. Um, here's Socrates. Ooh, look at that. So that's the right foot right there with Nedved. See, so so really quick. Let's go back really quick because this is Socrates' strength. Normally, with with someone with with very little balance, would would fall over right here because he got tackled. He got tackled right 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 here. Um, let, let, let's go back to it. He got tackled and he got hit, but he held his ground, which is someone with really low balance typically um, doesn't do that. So look at this. Boom. And then Nedved. Nedved is phenomenal. Like, like I said, man, with, with with whatever shots I gave him, he was doing he was doing amazing. All right. So here we go. We got Dembele, Griezmann. Um, and then, then you see Socrates on the run. He's on the run. So he makes good runs. And look at this ball roll. Boom, right foot. So he's shot with his left foot, shot with his right foot. He has the ball roll. Ball rolls are really, really great. Um, and here's another clip of Socrates. So here, here's his dribbling. I'm telling you, he's out here performing. Whew, stop being able to stop on a dime, um, being able to make those passes. I mess up the shots. I should have ball rolled over and, and, and then shot it. But he has those, man. Look at this. Ball roll. Ooh, ball roll. Left foot. Whew, those that five star scoot, the five star weak foot, baby. Um, but really, really, really great. And then here again, Socrates, ooh, left foot again. Um, I don't know if he's left foot or right foot, but I was able to score with both. I think the majority of the shots here is that you saw with the left foot, um, but he was able to do both. And then that's really what I show you. And again, his dribbling, his dribbling was great. I didn't have a problem with his dribbling, just his stamina as well as his pace. Ball roll. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. And that's the right foot. Oof. But like I said, his dribbling and his stamina is, is his dribbling is phenomenal. All right. So I think next up is whoop, too much. Oh, here's Nedved. And I just wanted to show you that because I'm shooting with his right foot. Wanted to share with you guys his, his right foot. Um, his right foot goal. And then... I wanted to share with you guys. So here's Ragmanoli. I'm playing him as a, as, as a CDM. But this is, I think, oh, I'm not showing that. He has he had good passing as well. I wanted to show you guys the finesse on. I think it's coming in right here. And this is what I scored the most with um, Nedved. I think this is it. No, terrible pass by Nedved. That was just a terrible pass by me in general. It really wasn't him. But there's Ragmanoli playing as a CDM. Give it. Give it. Ooh. Oh, he had this shot too. Coming in from from the from outside the the penalty box to um, not penalty box from coming from the outside box and shooting far post. He had that shot. That shot was down. Yo, let, let's let's take a look at that really quick. Let's take a look at that once again. Let me rewind that because he has that shot. That shot it scored a decent amount of goals for me as well. That specific shot outside post. Poof. Um, I should have gone near post, but I wasn't feeling near, near post wasn't necessarily working for me quite a bit this week in league. So I definitely went with the outside post um, or far post, especially from that angle. It has seemed to be working well. This is another really great shot by Nedved. This is it. This is the one I'm talking about. And I scored a decent amount of goals here as well. This far post finesse shot. Oh my God, man. This was filthy. This was filthy. Um, he was just banging that nonstop into the back of the net. 
And that's what was really great about his. And, and he had a boot with the marksman. He had a boot, man. He really did. I don't know if he had the finesse shot trait, but he was scoring those. He was getting those. You know what I'm saying? Um, so my recommendation, if you got the coins, you guys want to have some fun. I mean, you'll probably find better players, um, similar stats like Nedved um, or Socrates. But if you guys want to have fun and try some players out, I definitely would recommend Nedved as well as Socrates. Um Socrates, if you guys do um, constant pressure or pressure after lost possession, I don't recommend him because his pace for some reason isn't isn't the best. Um, but if you do have that for Nedved, definitely play Nedved as a left um, center mid um, cam or striker. Anything other than that, he's pointless. Um, striker is phenomenal because of the five star weak foot. Um, but yeah, guys, and if you guys use Socrates, throw a hunter on him. You got to boost that pace. Throw a hunter on him or a catalyst. Um, no shadows. Throw a hunter on him though. But that's it, guys. That's that's my review. Let me know what you guys think. Next up, put in the comments of what you guys want me to review. I got Keen88 coming up this week, so I'm going to be taking a look at him. Um, but, yeah, guys, um, Twitter's down below. Follow me on Twitter. And JimmyG23 is out. Peace.